And you know, we were talking about this last night, Matt, that we kind of got some of those storms. They kind of headed our way, obviously not as bad as that. Yeah, you're absolutely right. They got another round of it tonight. Uh, oh. it just, you know, same pattern, same cold front, same stationary front as it stands right now. And yeah, these bubble up showers and storms. Their lightning producers need to bring it inside when thunder roars go indoors. That's what they say. And boy, does that stick, uh, especially with my kiddos. All right, tomorrow morning, let's get your weekend started. Congratulations, everybody. You made it. We're in the 70s. Muggy tomorrow morning. Look at the wind. Calm to around six miles per hour at best. Uh, that's going to be an indicator with all the moisture that we have. Maybe some fog around tonight. So I think we'll have some low clouds and fog tomorrow morning. Should burn off pretty quickly. But you notice we've lost a lot of the rainfall. We didn't have a lot to speak of in terms of coverage across the area today, but we did have some flooding. Remember Cuyahoga County earlier? They've got flash flooding out in PA uh, just along 79 there down towards the outlets. My wife would know that uh, where they picked up. I'm still in the way of this where they picked up anywhere from five to six inches of rain in spots. Some bad flooding out there closer to home, though. Areas of Cuyahoga County, we saw one to two inches in a hurry that prompted that flash flood warning earlier this afternoon and pretty decent totals two to three inches out in the by in the intersection there of uh, Geauga County, Estabil County and Trumbull County uh, right near the Orwell area. They did have some flooding from that, but obviously the ground a little different out there than it is in the city where you don't have quite as much drainage going on. It takes a little bit longer in the city. All due to this frontal boundary. Look at all the activity out towards DC, Virginia, heavy rain. There's not a lot of movement to these, and that's the problem is that these things are putting down one to two inches of rain per hour but they don't move in spots. So there's a lot of flash flooding going on and we're going to be stuck in this pattern, although we're going to kind of taper down the rainfall chances for the weekend pretty nicely timed. This pattern doesn't change until we get a cold front that you see out towards the west. That doesn't move in here till really Tuesday at this point, maybe even a Wednesday morning and out ahead of that front. We've got a lot of heat in the plains once again. I know it was hot today, but this heat's going to kind of work in here and we're looking even warmer this weekend. So we're talking temps up near 90 degrees both tomorrow and Sunday. That's rain dependent, but I I really think we hit that for most communities in terms of the humidity. If you're expecting that to go away, the darker greens, that's your dew point. What's up in the 70s? It's thick and it's not going away really till the middle half of next week. So the Guardians tomorrow taking on the Houston Astros. Once again, we're talking more of the same 80s. A couple storms around that muggy feeling is going to be on hold, uh, but we're not you know, going to cancel plans or anything like that because it does look like our rainfall chances are going to be a little bit slimmer tomorrow than they were today. Let's take a look at that National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. Maybe a couple bubble ups tomorrow morning. I think the primary threat for any storms will be much like today where we start with sunshine, clouds start to build around noon, and then we're talking two or three o'clock, just a smattering of downpours. But again, if you get underneath one, that's a problem, right? And we could see them develop along a lake breeze boundary, much like today. Everything should come to an end by tomorrow evening. So if you have Saturday evening plans, we look good at this point, maybe just a leftover shower or two, but hot tomorrow up near 90 degrees. More of the same on Sunday. I think we have even a slimmer chance of rain on Sunday because we're going to be really be between two systems. So we're going warmer up near 90 again on Sunday and you can see just a couple downpours out there across Northeast Ohio. So overall, most hours this weekend dry. Just keep an eye on the radar as we go throughout the weekend. So when does this all clear out? Here's our frontal boundary. The big picture look here with your National Design Mart forecast brings this frontal boundary in here late Monday. So if you have late Monday plans, we'll likely have some storms coming across the lake. That will set up a frontal boundary that just kind of stays in here on Tuesday with storms likely. It should push out by Wednesday. In terms of rainfall, we've got some really good chances, but we need this because after this, we looks like we go dry for a while. We're also going to go less humid. Look at this. We're back into the comfortable category again Wednesday and Thursday of next week. It's going to be just a delightful end to the week next week. Union Home Mortgage 10 day forecast 88 Saturday 90 on Sunday with ISO storms. Storms finally clear out by Wednesday and then sunshine and low humidity for days. Nick Camino's back after this.